right? One one piece of food for one very low value plort. It's a pretty crappy return on investment, I gotta say. Uh, literally crappy. Good morning, partners, and welcome back to Slime Rancher with yours truly, Pablo Punchwood the Jolly Rancher. Here at the Punchwood Ranch on the far, far range. And we're picking up right where we left off here on day five, the morning of day five, 6.30 in the morning. And today we are going to trim some fat. We're gonna trim some fat. Who wants to trim the fat? Any, yeah, no? No, listen, it's just an expression. It doesn't mean a diet program or an exercise routine. You don't actually have to lose weight. Trim the fat. Just means we're going to make our operation, our ranching operation here, more efficient. Cut expenses, raise profits. We're going to turn this operation into a lean, mean, money-making machine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I need a few hen hens here. Hey, what the heck? Where's all the roostros, girls? Did you hen peck them to death? Or should I say hen hen pecked them to death? A double hen pecked. I guess they... I guess they flew the coop. Get it? That's a joke. Flew the coop? Okay. That's what happens when they're all cooped up together. Funny, right? No, not funny. Bad joke. Okay, no more jokes. Let's eat. <laughs> so we're going to do a couple of things to make our operation more efficient and become more profitable. And uh, one of those things is automation. And that it would be the collection of these poops. The collection of plorts. We need to make it faster and more efficient, and we need to automate it. So we're going to do that today. See all those plorts in there? Well, we're going to get them out. We're going to get them out quick and easy like by automating with a plort collector. So business 101 or ranchonomics 101. One of the first things you want to do is reinvest your, your buckaroos into your business. And that's what we're going to do right here. So a plort collector will vacuum up two types of plorts in a corral at regular intervals, depositing them into a storage tank, so long as space is available. And it costs 350 space bucks, a worthy investment indeed. I think. Where is it? There it is. So now I don't have to go in there and suck these things up manually at my backpack. I'm just going to wait for this thing to do its thing. And here it is, the two tanks, just waiting for a deposit. So any day now, I ought to suck them right up. Okay. Well, I guess while we're waiting for that, <laughs> it did say at regular intervals. I don't know how long it takes. Let's take a look at the exchange here. So looks like, who is this? Thora West. Drinks are on me if you can get me these things in a hurry. So she wants two phosphor plorts, 12 phosphor slimes, and two tabby plorts. And I'm going to get Rock plorts, stony hens, pink plorts, and pogo fruits. Well, hmm. That's not really much of a good deal, to be perfectly honest there, Thora. She still thinks I'm a greenhorn. She thinks I'm dumb dumb. Just because I'm a new rancher. She's trying to flim flam me, fellas. Trying to pull the wool over my eyes. Bamboozle me. Yeah, pretty funny, right? Not gonna happen. That's a garbage deal. Maybe I'll do it later. I don't know. Looks like somebody's still hungry in here. Here, have a carrot. So... While, oh, there they go. There they go. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Sucks them right up automatically into the tanks. Wow. So here's an example of how we can make things more efficient. We can get uh, we get larger slimes that poop twice as much as the smaller slimes, right? That's one way. So one, one piece of food in, two plorts out. And now we can just suck these guys right out of here. Oh, that's amazing. So nine tabbies and nine pink plorts. Awesome. And now what I want to do is grow these guys into larger. Largos. How about you back there, fella? Eat up. Yum, yum. Tasty treat. So now we have rock tabby largos. And they eat meat and veggies. So they're not too picky. Let's give them the carrot. So here's a perfect example of Ranchonomics 101. One carrot in. Just one expense. Two plorts out. That's a good rate of return, right? There you go. Eat a carrot. It sure is. It's better than a one-to-one -one ratio like those little pinkos over there. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's suck them up. Not only do we get two plorts in these big fellers, 
but they're actually pretty decent value too. So the the blue and the uh, tabby floors, the rock and tabby floors are worth more than the pink floors. So they're actually worth more than you guys. Still love you though. Here, have another carrot. Now, let's see. Let's go back over here and cash in our plorts on the market. Dump them all in there right now. And we now have 200... Oh, wait, we have more pinks. Because I want to do one more automation um, investment here. And that would be to the auto feeder, 350. Oh, dang, it's 350. All right, well, we can't afford that yet, so we're going to have to go out and make some more cash. All right, you guys full? All right, well, then for now, let's just throw these carrots in here. So I don't really want to carry them around. All right, a couple more plorts. Can we do it? Oh, we did it. Yes, 351. Perfect. And now we can make an auto feeder. Automation, folks. Let's learn more about this. Oh, not much more to say. An auto feeder will drop food you deposit into the corral at regular intervals. Just remember to keep it stocked. All right, well, that's easy enough. Let's purchase it. 350. And where be? There it is. All right, let me grab those carrots back, guys, since you're not going to eat them. I don't want you playing with your food either. Come on, give that. There we go. And that carrot there. And I'll leave that one. It looks like somebody's playing with it. You want to play with that carrot? Fine. And we'll just deposit these in here. Whoops. Oh, I missed. Whoop. Come here. And there we go. So six carrots in the auto feeder. Grab that one. Seven. And that's just going to spit them out every now and then. Hopefully these guys will be hungry. All right. Excellent. There we go. Two ways to improve your operation and increase uh, productivity and profits. Now, we've got to deal with these little slimes since it's only a one-to-one -one ratio, right? One, one piece of food for one very low-value plort. It's a pretty crappy return on investment, I gotta say. Uh, literally crappy. So, tell you what, little guys, it's time to go. Time to go on a little um, vacation. Yeah. Vacation. They're just going on vacation. Don't worry about your little friends, okay? Just a, just a nice vacation. Yeah. We'll take them over to a lovely tropical island <laughs> that I just happen to know about over here on the far, far range. You guys are going to love it. All right, little pinkos. It's time for your vacation. We'll see ya. Have a good time on your tropical island. You're going to love it there, guys. Some fun in the sun and don't worry about work. Just put your feet up. Have a pina colada. And enjoy yourselves, and I'll be back for you, um, later. Or, or not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> and come here, little blue rock slime. That's what I want. Little br blue rock slimes to make more of the, uh, the large blue largos. Like I said, to get more efficient with our poop collection. But unfortunately, poop production, rather. Unfortunately... There's uh, never any of them around because they eat the pink poops and then they disappear so fast. Won't well, disappear, but they turn into these guys. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We gotta get rid of some of these. We gotta we gotta lower the population. Oh no no, you're a big pink tab. I wanna take you out. Well, I don't, can't really fit you in my thing here, so might have to carry him back. But anyway, yeah. So these populations continue to grow, and we have um well, I've got a few methods of of culling the populations, and this is sort of Mother Nature's way. Whoa of uh, reducing overpopulated slimes, right, by eating them, essentially. So, this is a necessary evil. So we have to let this process happen, unfortunately. Because if we want to get the little blue slimes, we're going to have to make some sacrifices here. we got to get rid of these guys. There's just too darn many of them. Because my understanding is that they're actually persistent. If these guys are persistent, they'll never go away. Unless, uh, unless they ow, are eaten by zombies, slimes, or if they're incinerated, we can incinerate them in an incinerator, or we toss them into the slime sea. I don't know if that information is accurate or not, but I'm not taking any chances because I can never find any blues over here. Oh, did I just shoot a blue? I hope not. Oh, no, I think I just shot one into the water. Yeah, let's switch to carrots in case I inadvertently shoot something out. It would be a carrot. All right, you're done. Get out of here. I think you've eaten enough. Yeah, all right, good, 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 good. So now all the pink Larjos are gone. Well, 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 what do we have here? A tabby plort up by the plort market. 
Has somebody been skimming off the top? Looks like we've got some embezzlement going on. Hmm, very, very interesting. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I've got my eyes on you guys. You can't fool me with those smiley faces and giggles. Somebody's up to no good. Hey, get back in there. Was it you? Playing outside with his carrot. All right, let's put the... You know what? We're going to move you guys into the big cage now. Ow. What? You don't like it? I think that's got higher walls. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wanted those tabby plorts. Dang it. Oh, we got more right here. In my automated port plort collector. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's feed uh, Let's feed you guys right here. Let's make you big. Big and strong, huh? Grab that one. Grab it. I'll take that one. Thank you. And now, let's fill up our food bin here with some carrots. Look at all the carrots. How many will this hold? Holy mackerel, that's a lot. Woo! I like it! We should make another one over here. For you guys. Oh, did I miss one? Hey! Get over here. All right, I have to feed you guys manually. Sorry. Oh, wait, you don't even eat. <laughs> oh, shucks. They don't even eat fruit. Can I have those carrots back? I guess I can, can't I? Oh, no, I can't. I can't get them back out. All right, grab this way, then. Give me that. There's one carrot. Hey, 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 no fraternizing with the pinkos. Get in there, Mr. Blue. Well, I guess I could feed these guys chickens. But, yeah, so that's something I, uh... That was my screw-up. I, I, I should have put, um... Should have put pogo fruits in here instead. Because these guys eat anything. Alright, guys. It's 11 p.m. It's nighttime. The phosphor slimes are most likely out flitting around. I think we have a pretty good chance at completing this quest with Thora. Let's go show her that we're no dumb rookie rancher. And see if we can't uh, complete this quest for her. Ooh, there's more carrots. I'm going to grab those two over here. Bloop. Thank you. Now, get out of here. Where where do they be? And let's get rid of that too because that's going to turn them in to uh, largos, and we don't want the largos. Okay, I don't see any. Maybe they haven't come out yet. Oh oh, there they are. Got one. I need twelve of them, right? Ooh yeah. Oh hello. <laughs> There's another one. That's three. Just don't want them to eat the pink plorts. Hey look, our pinkies are still over there on the island. I told you they were going to have a lovely vacation. Great. Glad to see it. <laughs> oh, no. There's a uh, Phosphor Largio. We don't want that guy. Oh, I want you, though, dude. Um, shucks. All right. I'm just going to have to get rid of this. Get rid of the carrots. Suck you up. And there's one of the Phosphor Plorts. Oh, no. Don't eat that. Uh, don't eat that. Okay, get out of here. Uh, dang it. What should I get rid of? Can't really get rid of anything here. I need them all. Oh no. Run, little fella, run. Um it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get this quest. Oh look at these guys over here. Oh, alright, you know what? We're not gonna be able to do it. So let's I'm gonna grab the tabbies. I love these little tabbies. Where'd he go? There's one. Oh. Oh, come here, Tabby. I'll save you. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, now they're out. Guys, where were you like three minutes ago? I don't need you anymore. Shucks, we're not going to be able to complete that quest. Fine. Coming up with 12 phosphor slimes apparently is harder than I had expected. And now let's put our little tabbies in here. I miss you little guys. So, yeah, all that I said about efficiency, lower expenses, higher rate of return... Yeah, that doesn't apply to little gray tabbies, because these guys are just so adorable. Yeah, they're only going to have one little tabby plort poop, but let's just pretend they're pets, okay? They can just be our pets. Let's put you out, and let's turn you into big guy. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Good job. What's going on over here? Oh my gosh, what? Hey, stop fighting over the carrot! There's plenty more. There's like 30 in the bin, guys. There's one on the ground. Oh boy. That's what happens at night. Everybody's getting grumpy over here. Now, did I... Get, I thought I saw a shadow. Get back in there. <laughs> Are they fighting or playing? I can't tell. Are you fighting or playing? He's not getting involved. He's like, I'm not going to get involved in that. 
I'm not, I don't like the ruckus. Oh, here comes more carrots coming out. Guys, there's lots more carrots popping up. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Guys, stop! Take it outside, would you? Look at them. All right, are you guys done fighting now? You had an audience, you know. Check out the Rock Tabby Larjos over there. I think they were betting on that little battle. All right, anyway, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to bed. I'm going to get one hour of sleep before we get to get up. Not even a full hour of sleep before we have to wake up and get back to work. And no new mail. We don't have any new, we don't have any friends, unfortunately. All right, going to bed. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Cockle doodle doo. Bye bye.